Honorable judges, my worthy opponents, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. What the world gains from optimism? Such powerful words. Let me first define several key terms in order to build our understanding, and then we can have our discussion. According to dictionary.com, gain is defined as the process of attaining or getting a reward or something advantageous, while optimism is defined by my tools of thought as an emotional competence that can help boost productivity, enhance employee morale, overcome conflict, and have a positive impact on the bottom line. With that said, we're ready for our discussion. What is or what does the world gain from optimism? A change. So 1.2 billion persons live on less than $2 per day. Wars rage around the world. Climate change is knocking at our doors. In sum, ladies and gentlemen, let's be real. There is a lot to be afraid of. But believe me when I say there is also a lot to be proud of. And I mean a lot to be proud of. In the last three decades, extreme poverty has plummeted. Improving the lives of literally billions of persons across the world. More people have access to cell phones, internet, electricity, clean water, healthcare, and education more than ever before. The 21st century, ladies and gentlemen, is shaping up to be the least violent yet through optimism, as it has been the impetus behind a new change. Matter of fact, according to the Gallup poll, the number of people who have died as a result of war, civil war, and yes, tourism is down 50% this decade from the 1990s. It is down 75% from the five preceding decades before that, which was the decade of the Cold War. And it is down, of course, 99% from the decade before that, the decade of World War II. You see, we often don't hear about the progress that humankind has made. Instead, when we turn on the television and we turn on the radio, the news is to be transported into a fiery landscape of doom and gloom. Serious and pressing problems exist, I agree, but the narrative so far has been to focus solely on the bad. It's the, if it bleeds, it leads problem of the media, where negative, bad, and depressing stories attract readers and viewers. This, ladies and gentlemen, this has led to the precipitous decline in optimism. With that out of the way, what does the world gain from optimism again? Let's go to leadership. In the Leadership Advantage, an essay from the Drucker Foundation's Leader to Leader Guide, Warren Bennis tells us that optimism is one of the key things people need from their leaders in order to achieve positive results. Highly effective leaders, ladies and gentlemen, have a transforming effect on their constituents as they are able to paint an optimistic and attainable view of the future. They are able to move persons from being stuck with how things are done around here and help them to see how things could be done better. Indeed, this tells us that optimism, therefore, is an important component in achievement and is especially important in times of change and turbulence. Really, what the world needs right now. Let's now go to volunteerism. Volunteers play a vital role in modern societies by boosting the labor force within both the public and private sectors. Analysts reveal that perceived control and optimism have been the greatest factor behind this high level of volunteerism, which helps to boost statuses of many countries and in some, the world as a whole. Ladies and gentlemen, let's have a discussion. Let me tell you a story. For as a child growing up, I've learned this one thing. Well, not the one thing I've learned, but this really stands out. The golden rule of staying positive in a negative situation is to control your response. So you take a deep breath, you count to ten, you do whatever it takes to remove yourself from the negativity, wait until you calm down and have thought clearly about your response. Then take a shot. Because if you responded out of emotion, you will only make it worse. But if you respond when you have calmed down, you now introduce a new avenue for positivity. This clearly outlines and illustrates the point that out of negatives come positives, and beyond a shadow of a doubt, out of negatives do come. 
of positives. Be optimistic. Now, the Optimist Clubs recognize the local youth for their efforts in the arts, athletics, and community service. Youth appreciation is the perfect opportunity for optimists to make a difference in their community and demonstrate the optimist commitment to young people. Youth appreciation projects are intended to make young people feel more important and highlight their positive contribution to society. Since 1956, this program has given Optimist Clubs the occasion to work with you towards the common goals of education, career development, physical well-being, and community service. A club's youth appreciation program can be much more than an award ceremony or a dinner for a few top students. It's much, much more than that. It leaves a prominent lesson in the lives of young people, encouraging them to develop as a result of its powerful impact, we young people can now transition into the future greatly empowered and optimistic. There is, therefore, no better alternative than to be optimistic. Being optimistic obviously doesn't mean you're going to see rainbows 24 7, but optimism helps us see new opportunities. Let me be honest with you. At my age, I really don't feel competent enough to give you much advice. But bear with me as I give you one last piece of wisdom. It was Malcolm X who said, Math may not teach us how to add love or subtract hate. And might I add to that and say, it surely does teach us to have hope that in every problem there is a solution through optimism. Be optimistic. Every day, judges, ladies and gentlemen, good morning.